when someone dresses in a uniform, we tend to have more or less trust in them depending on the uniform because the uniform is a visible external sign of their subscription to a, an ideology, a, a, um, a code of behavior and thought. The external sign is um, something we can trust or mistrust even without understanding the internal structure of the thing that they're ascribing to. Um, I mean, you can see this with just like um, branding. People can wear, you know, Adidas or uh, some band merchandise and in doing so, even we, we know they can't make music, maybe. We know that we don't understand how to make music, maybe, um, or, or how to construct a good shoe. But we know because of their affiliation with the brand that they have chosen something that we also would have chosen, even without understanding the internal workings of it, because its effects are good because they make good shoes or whatever it might be. So we don't understand the secret necessarily, but we can respect the choice of a good thing or we can disrespect the choice of a not good thing. Now, the higher up in uniformity a person goes, uh, the, the more they are of that thing. And so the more they are in the secret of that thing. So somebody walking around with tattoos from a band and, uh, you know, wearing all their garb, they look like the band members. You know, it's pretty obvious that they've gone to a bunch of concerts and they, they're pretty deep into it and they probably know the album names. They know, uh, some of the musical structures, how, what kind of a, an experience is supposed to surround that, um, that music. And so if you wanted to experience that music, in a full way, you could go with them and you would get a more pure experience of the band by going with them to a concert than you would by going by yourself. This is an indication of the fact that they are actually initiates into a form of, you could say, priesthood, that they, they hold a secret to the internality of something uh, that has an internal and an external. Uh, this goes all the way up to the top. So you can have an actual band member and they are something like the most internal. Um, and um, this isn't just for branded merchandise or, or you know, uh, Navy uniforms or, or, or whatever visual external representations. You can also, ha you can see how this also works with, um, following of ideas. So if you wear certain clothes, maybe somebody would call you a minimalist. You wear certain other clothes. Maybe somebody would call you a surfer dude. And, and these are like subscriptions to ideas where there's no actual group that is the core uh, people who are the source of X thing. Now, when you talk about an author and the suspension of disbelief or the faith in that author, you're talking about them being the holders to some extent of some secret, which you are not so privy to. Uh, you're, you're not initiated. They are the priests of that secret. Um, and when you view it that way, idiosyncrasies in the writing, rather than being things that you as holders of the secret can judge, no, 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 they are the holder of the secret. And so when you interact with that idiosyncrasy in the writing, it's actually a key to unlocking uh, another level of the experience of that aspect of the internal secret. 
aspect of whatever you're trying to explore. This is why you can gain trust in an author um, and then see something in their work that doesn't fit in with how you thought it was. And rather than saying, oh, that's because they've gotten it wrong, you say, no, 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 that's because I've gotten it wrong, right? It's because they are on the inside and I'm on the outside of whatever uh, it happens to be.